Today we are going to study la discusra corte o passe. Rule is there. If uh, a reporting verb is in past, then a reported verb must be changed to corresponding past. For example, we take the sentence ila di jasui malad. Here, a di is reporting verb and the sui is reported verb. So, since reporting verb is in past, we have to change this verb also into past. So, the corresponding changes are indicated here, like present will change to imperfect, present progressive imperfect of verb etr plus entrant the plus infinitive, imperfect will remain imperfect, passe the song, imperfect of verb veni plus the plus infinitive. Passe composé will change to plus que parfait, plus que parfait will remain plus que parfait. Futur proche will change to imparfait of verbale plus the plus infinitive du verb. Futur simple will change to conditional présent. Futur antérieur will change to conditional passé. Conditional présent will remain conditional présent. Then conditional passé will change to conditional passé. It means it remains same. Subjunctive present will remain subjunctive present. So we can conclude that if we change the first verb to imperfect or it's changing to imperfect, it's ending to imperfect in some cases, then we will get corresponding tense. So let's see. First example, iladi jasui malad. So very simple rule. Since this verb, reporting verb is in past, we have to change it to imperfect. So answer will be ila di kil ete malat here present is changed to a perfect second sentence ila di reporting verb is in past so this verb will change to imperfect. So answer will be ila di kil vane the maji. Let's take the next sentence. Il ma di kuba vanir. Here this verb will go to imperfect. Il ma di ke je. So this is Ale. So Zale Vanir. Ila di je vi andore. Here. This verb can't be changed to imparfait, but at least we can change its ending to imparfait. And when here in place of AI, we write AIS, then a resulting tense is known as present conditional. So we can say that future or future sample changes to conditional present. So it becomes ila di kil. So here ending is changed to that of imperfect. Now let's see next example. Ila di jete malad. This is already in imperfect. And as we know that either we change the ending to imperfect or we add we convert the first verb to imperfect. Here, first verb is itself in imperfect. So there is no change. Answer will be. Il a di kil ete malat. Next one, il a di je viandore. Here, ending is already that of imperfect, so there is no change. It means this sentence is in conditional preso and uh, its ending will remain same. So, il a the kill viandre. 
next sentence in the q ora once here this verb will change its ending to that of imperfect and when we change this ending to imperfect so this uh, the resulting tense will be conditional passive because this tense is future anterior so answer will be il madi jure manch iladi jure manje here ending is already that of imperfect so there will be no change this is this is conditional passive and conditional passive will not change so il adi kel ore match next sentence il madi just we trist ka monomi na re u sis pa this sentence is in subjunctive and as we know that uh, there won't be any change in case of subjunctive so here the sentence will change to el ma di kel e trist ko sonami no reusis we will study other things in next video i will give some more rules thank you